Hello and welcome to Dory. My name is Miss Allen and I'll be your Dory instructor. Just a little bit about myself. I've been an instructor over at LIT for the last um, 11 years. All of those 11 years, I've been fortunate enough to teach Dory and I also teach Education 1100, which is also called Learning Frameworks. I am also an instructional technologist for Beaumont ISD. Um, I've been in education overall for the last 20 years, maybe 22 years. I think I'm off by a couple of years, but it's, it's been a long time and I tend to lose track of it. So purpose of this video is to introduce you to Dory. Dory stands for developmental orientation and we would like to orientate you to LIT um, things programs that the college uses programs such as self-service banner we would like to orientate or get you familiar with programs such as blackboard you will be very familiar with blackboard at the end of this course uh, another program that we use, which is called Starfish, Degree Works. These names may sound foreign to you, but at the end of Dory, you will be very familiar with these courses. We would also like to orientate you to college life itself, meaning we would like to help you with your study skills, note-taking skills, test-taking skills, you will discover what type of learner that you are. All of these topics will help you to become a su successful student here at LIT. That's our goal. Now to start, as you can see, I am at the my.lit.edu page. I'm going to go ahead and log in. For your login, you will put your T number, and for the password, it would be your complex password. Excuse me. Okay, and as you can see, this is the home page for my LIT, and this home page is full of uh, shortcuts to get to get you to several places. That's very important to LIT. Self service banner. Well, let me look at this from a student standpoint. Let's look at it the way you'll see it. Self-service banner. This tells you what you can do. Add, drop classes, view grades, update that contact information. This is very important because, as you know, we have lots of natural disasters nowadays. And there will be opportunities that the school will need to contact you. And the school uses the contact, whatever contact you have in self-service banner. So that's very important. Degree works. This uh, helps you plan your coursework. This helps you to know what, what you need to take, what you will take in the upcoming future, and where you are in your degree plan. Starfish, which is an early alert system. If our students aren't doing well, Starfish will alert you. That'll be a person that'll call you. If you are doing well, we like to put kudos to our students in Starfish, okay? You can also contact your um, advisors through Starfish if you have questions about your degree plan. Okay, Blackboard, we're going to dive into it in just a second. Student email and Office 365. Okay, I cannot stress how important it is for you to, excuse me, get familiar with checking your student email. Okay, and to only communicate with your instructors using your student email. You need to check your email at least uh, two to three times a week, in my opinion. Um, your instructors will not go outside and email your Gmail accounts. None of that. So put the uh, Outlook app on your phone. Keep it signed in so that you can stay, up, stay abreast. Me personally, I have been known to, you know, return an assignment to you and let you know, hey, email you and let you know, hey, I need you to redo this within a couple of days. Well, I have students that check email once every two weeks, if then. And um, of course, that's not two days. So you'll more than likely just get an F if the assignment's not done correct. 
So it's up to you to stay abreast on that. Office 365. Being a student here at LIT, you will be offered Office 365. Um, that's where you will receive my, uh, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and the other apps. Word and PowerPoint are very important. Matter of fact, you're going to use PowerPoint in Module 1 for me. Microsoft Word, that's where you type documents, type papers, essays, all that good stuff that you have to look forward to. Being a student here, you have access to it. You'll have instructions on how to download it also. Uh, here's how you pay. Scholarship link. That's important. We're going to use that. Career link. We're going to use this. Uh, research a Lamar LEA account. LEA account. LEA account. That's your library account. Your Lamar LEA account. I'm sorry. Um, the Mary and John Gray Library. This is very important. We're going to use this also. Um, we will have um, a library assignment in the near future. Um, what I wanted to say, there are services that we share with uh, with LIT. I'm sorry, with Lamar University. Their library being one is not theirs, it's ours. Okay, your tuition allows you to use Lamar's uh, Mary and John Gray Library. We also share the fitness center, the Sheila Humphrey Sheila Rec Center. Your tuition pays for that also. So all you need is your student ID. You have access to the library and to the rec center. Um, the police department is yours also. You have access to that pr protection. And I believe it's the student health center. That's the last thing, okay? That's the Barnes & Noble bookstore uh, link to, you know, to probably rent or purchase your textbooks online also. Now, I want to go ahead and dive into Blackboard quickly. <clears throat> me. I'm going to go ahead and go to Courses. Up and coming. Spring. I'm going to go ahead and go to Student Preview. I want you to see what it looks like for you. And we're going to click Start here. And you notice as you click, you have a drop down and all of these nice activities will pop up for you. Okay. You have the objectives for this little section right here. You can read that. Um, LIT Blackboard Explained. You're going to watch this video. And in Module 1, I'll show you that in another video. You're going to have to reply to, do, take like a short little quiz to say that you did take that, watch that video. And if I, you need to watch it because you need to know how Blackboard works. Uh, this is learning right for me. You can read that. How to navigate within this course. This is more help to help you figure out how to use Blackboard. What the different icons mean. Okay. If you see this, that means it's a module. This is a folder. You can read that. What I would pay attention to are the assignments, the journals, the links. Discussions. I don't think we have any discussions this semester in this course. I think we took those out, but you do have assignments, journals, test quizzes. Okay. Um, I want to show you this LIT support links. If I don't click on it, that <laughs> that means you need to go and click on it and make sure you read. Okay. So you do have twenty four seven online Blackboard support provided through. Uh, Sam Houston State University. That's who we receive our Blackboard services through. You can contact them at that number or either you can email them for support. Okay, the next thing I want to go ahead and click is course information. Here's our syllabus. You can click that and read this on your own. This is important. This gives you all the information that you need about this course. Here's the best way to contact me using this 304 number, this 880 number, I'm not in this office because I teach online, okay? This gives you a course description, course objectives, um, course textbook, which is a link. We, you don't have to purchase a textbook. It's a free link. We use a free open source textbook, and you can access it using that link. We'll do that. Look at that later. Um, here's our course calendar every assignment and its due date that you will be responsible for 
Here's, here are the modules, chapter and topic, the objectives, the activities that are in that module, and most importantly, once again, the assignments, okay, that you will be responsible for. We have 15 modules, and I'll let you guys read that. And if you go further now, there, there are also other important details in that syllabus that you need to be aware of, but you can read that on your own, okay? LIT logins. I'm sorry, I skipped this. But here's the uh, textbook. Just click that. That gives you a link to it. Here's a little preview of it. So there's nothing to purchase. Um, LIT logins and passwords. That's important. You can read that. How to download those Office apps. How to use Capture. Capture. We use. We'll, we'll do that later. Um, this is also very important. You can read that on how to submit your assignments and in what format. Uh, some extra credit opportunities here at LIT. There's the Meet Your Instructor. That's me. That's my information. Once again, if you need to contact me, please use this number. Or either email me. Where do I direct questions? You can either use, I'll show you the virtual office right quick. You can use this if you want to. I will try my best. This is like a discussion post. You can post questions. I will try my best to answer your questions here. Remember, the whole class will see your question, which is fine, because somebody may have your same question, and they just come and read that virtual office, and they'll get an answer. Okay? I'm going to stop this video right here at Meet Your inst uh, Instructor in communication, communication. I'm sorry, and Communicate in this course. Okay? I'm going to stop this video here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this course, and this will be the first of quite a few videos throughout the semester. So hopefully this shows you how to navigate. Let me go through one other thing I just thought about. Um, there is a calendar in this course. Okay. Now let's look at it from a month standpoint. See, it gives you all of the uh, due dates for your assignments but uh, don't only rely on this calendar for for assignments because I think this calendar sometimes doesn't post the module I mean the journal assignments okay great book that's your great book that's very important this is where you will look to find your grades um, all assignments in this course will be due with the exception of module one I did module one for next Monday night because I wanted to give you an entire an entire week but you'll have quite a few assignments to complete within that first week but after that everything else will be due every Sunday night at 11 59 p.m. okay every Sunday night all assignments are due okay I'm gonna go ahead and stop this